So personally for me, one of the most time consuming and frustrating parts of being a content creator is going through and editing any of your stream VODs. This can take hours, it can take days, and I work full time and I just don't have the time to spend going through VODs. So recently I've been using a plugin in OBS Studio which has completely gotten rid of all of the traditional editing. I can have vertical and horizontal clips that are all high quality. I never have to go through hours of VOD content ever again and I can do this when I'm streaming and when I'm not streaming and it's so easy to set up. So if you're wanting to save yourself some time, make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. That way you can use this resource as well. Right, so the first thing we need to do is install OBS Studio. So we're going to go to obsproject.com. The link will be in the video description below as well. And we want to make sure that we are going to be on version 29. Now, right now, if you go there, it's going to be 29.1.3. So that's perfectly fine. I use version 29.0.0. As long as it's version 29, that's all that matters. But once you have OBS installed and open, go ahead and close OBS Studio so we can install the plugin. So this is gonna be where we're gonna get the plugin from. I'm gonna link this in the video description as well. So I'm gonna refresh the page here so that way it will do the countdown at the bottom here saying that it will begin download and then it should automatically start it for you. So we're gonna save it to whatever folder you wanna save it to, install it, run it, and then we'll choose a folder that you want to install it all to for the plugin. And then once it's done, then you can hit finish and then we can reopen our OBS studio. So now that we have OBS open, if you look over to the right hand side, you're going to see that the plugin has added a vertical window. You also have your vertical scene and then you have vertical sources. So for you, it's going to be just a black box, which I'm going to show you how to customize. But if you are familiar with how OBS is when it comes to building scenes and the sources, it's all going to be the same. So you have all the same sources and everything. It's just in a vertical format. So let's go ahead and start building the scene. So that way we can get everything else started too. So we're going to click on the plus and we're going to go over to the video capture device and we're going to do Elgato. Now, as you can see, it's still in a horizontal format for the sources. But if this is too small to work with, you can always move these guys. As long as that icon with the two arrows, you can then move stuff to kind of make it a little bit bigger to get it whatever size you want. So we're gonna just increase the game a little bit and then we'll get me in here too. So we'll lock that so we don't accidentally grab it. And then we'll bring in the webcam a little too big so the next thing we have to do is set up the actual settings for this to work so we're going to go into settings and under the generals tab if you go into output you want to make sure that you have these two checked the automatically start replay buffer when streaming and keep the replay buffer active when stream stops then we're going to go to output we're going to go to recording and you want to give yourself a folder that you want all these recordings to go to then we're gonna to go to replay buffer, enable the replay buffer, and you wanna set it to a certain duration. So the way the replay buffer is gonna work is whatever happened before you hit the button. So if you got a really cool like kill streak and you killed like a whole squad and then you hit the button, it's gonna capture 60 seconds before the button was pressed. But you can change this to whatever you want it to. Then next you're gonna to wanna to go to hotkeys. In hotkeys, you want to make sure you set up a vertical start recording and stop recording button. You also want to make sure you have the start replay buffer and stop replay buffer. And then we want to make sure that we have the replay buffer save replay and vertical backtrack save replay. So those are the only ones you got to worry about. And all you got to do is just click in these boxes and then press a button on your keyboard. And that's going to be the hotkey. Now, if you want to take this a step further, if you have a stream deck, then you can actually set this up in a stream deck once you set up the hotkeys in here. So in the stream deck software, if you go to any of the empty tiles, go to system, go to hotkey, and then we're going to press on here and then press the button for the hotkey. So that's going to be just to record. That's how I do it. You guys can set up multiple tiles to have different hotkeys and stuff, but that's essentially how you set a hotkey up in your stream deck. So once you have that all set up, then go ahead and hit okay. 
So now that we've set up the main settings in OBS, we need to also set up the settings here for vertical settings. So we're going to click on the gear here and it's going to open up the vertical settings window. And inside of general, you have your resolutions. You want to make sure that it's going to show the 1080 by 1920. And then for the video bitrate, I have mine set for 60,000 kbps and it gives me very high quality. Then over in the backtrack area, you're going to have it. You want to have backtrack enabled. You can also have backtrack always on and then you can also set the duration for the backtrack as well you can choose the file path for it and then if you want to use the same exact hotkey that you used in the general settings for obs then go ahead and just add that one here if you want to stream in vertical you can set that up here i don't stream in vertical and then for recording it's going to be the same recording path the same hotkey that you set up in the original settings and you can leave everything else as it is and once you have that done, then we're going to hit OK. And you want to make sure that the start replay buffer is on. So as you can see, this is blue here and that also turned blue. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my controller here. We're going to go back into Apex and I'm just going to move around in the menu. But as of right now, it is able to capture if I wanted it to. So we're going to move around a little bit, right? Just kind of going through the the main menus and now I'm going to hit that hotkey so you see it says backtrack saved and then down here you see the file path to the folder that you set up and it also gives a like name convention for it all right so here's the clip I'm just going to kind of skip through it a little bit but as you can see the quality is exactly how it is shown in OBS there's there's no pixelation or anything like that and this will not be compressed so you can then bring it into YouTube shorts you can put it on the reels you can do whatever you want with it because it's in vertical format so that is essentially how you would set it up and you guys will be able to use this when you're not streaming when you are streaming as long as you hit that hotkey it's going to record it so that is what I love about this I can get really cool moments and I'm in control of it I don't have to worry about anyone in the community that might not want to clip something and I don't have to go through hours and hours and hours of VOD footage to try to find something that is only like maybe 10 seconds worth. Now, if you do have any questions about what I went over in today's video, let me know in the comment section below. But if you do want to take your content creation to the next level, I recommend you taking a look at this video here, which goes over the six habits that every content creator should learn. So definitely take a look at that. And if you're enjoying the rest of the content on the channel, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.